want higher PS and rust? In this video, I'll show you the best settings and tweaks to boost FPS, reduce stutter, and make your game run smoother than ever. Let's get started. Gear up booster gives you zero ping and rust. Just open gear up, choose rust, and click boost now. Instant lag-free gameplay. Download it from the link in the description. Step one, registry editor first. Make sure your computer is completely loaded and you're on a desktop. Take a moment to relax. There's no need to rush through this process. Now, move your mouse to the start menu and click on it. In the search bar, slowly type Regidit. That's R-E-E-D-I-T. Wait a few seconds until registry editor appears in the search results. When you see it, right click on it and select run as administrator. If a small window appears asking for permission, click yes dot once the registry editor opens. You'll see several folders on the left side. Each folder is like a section of your system settings. Now, carefully click the small arrow next to he underscore local underscore machine. Then scroll down and click the arrow next to system inside the system folder. Find and click on current control set, then open the folder named control inside the control folder. Scroll slowly until you find graphics drivers. Click on it once. Now, on the right side of the window, right click on an empty area and select new gives DWORG 32 bit value. Name this new value true level. After creating it, double click on it and set its value data to zero. Then click OK. This change disables a timeout setting that sometimes causes stutters or crashes in games like Rust.next. Create another word, 32 bit value, and name it HW School Mode. Double click it and set the value data to. Then click OK. This enables hardware accelerated GPU scheduling which allows your graphics card to manage memory directly, improving frame stability and reducing input lag. Once you've made these changes, close the registry editor by clicking the X at the top right corner. Then restart your computer slowly. Don't press any keys during startup. Wait for your system to load completely. After your PC restarts, open Rust and play for a few minutes. You should notice smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and slightly higher FPS. These registry tweaks help Windows handle GPU and CPU tasks more efficiently. Improving overall performance dot by using the registry editor carefully and following each step slowly. You're giving your system a small but powerful boost for better Rust performance and smoother gameplay. Step two, use Run With Affinity tool for performance optimized first. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Make sure your PC is fully loaded on the desktop. Then open the Run With Affinity tool by right clicking it and choosing Run as Administrator. Once it opens, click Browse and go to your Rust installation folder, usually D, Steam, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Rust, and select Rust Client.exe. In the CPU Affinity section, Choose which CPU cores the game should use. For eight core CPUs, select about four to six cores and leave some free for Windows. For four core CPUs, use all cores. Then set the priority to high, avoid real time. Click save settings or run program to launch Rust with optimized CPU usage. Keep the tool running in the background while you play. This helps Rust focus CPU power efficiently, reducing lag, stabilizing FPS, and making gameplay smoother. Step three, high and low priority first. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Make sure your computer is fully loaded and you're on the desktop. You'll see two registry files, highpriority.reg and lowpriority.reg, which control how Windows manages Rust's CPU focus. To apply the high performance mode, Right click on highpriority.reg and select open or merge when a message appears asking for permission. Click yes and then confirm again when prompted. Wait a few seconds until a message appears saying the keys have been successfully added. Then click OK. 
This will make Windows give Rust more CPU attention, helping to boost FPS and reduce lag during gameplay. After that, restart your computer to apply the changes. If later you want to switch back to a balanced setup, right-click on lowpriority.reg. Select Open or Merge, confirm the prompts, and restart again. The high priority file makes Rust smoother and faster, while the low priority file helps balance system performance when you're multitasking. Step 4. USE MSI Mode Utility for Increasing GPU Performance First. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Make sure your computer is fully loaded and you're on the desktop. Slowly open the MSI Mode Utility tool. This program enables message signal based interrupts, MSI mode, for your hardware, helping reduce latency and boost FPS stability. Right click on msiutility.exe, select Run as administrator, and wait for it to open. When the list of devices appears, find your GPU, like NVIDIA GeForce or MG Radian. On the right side, check the MSI box to enable it and under priority. Choose high to give your graphics card top performance priority. You can also carefully enable MSI for your NVMe controller or sound device, but avoid changing unknown devices. Once done, click apply. Wait for it to save. Then restart your PC. After restarting, Messier iMode will be active, helping your system communicate faster with Windows. Lowering input lag and giving smoother, Higher FPS performance in games like Rust, Valorant, CS2, and Roblox. Step 5. Disable Rust full screen optimization by Steam first. Make sure your computer is fully started and you're on your desktop. Take your time, don't rush any step. Open your Steam application and wait for it to load completely. Once it's ready, go to your library tab and slowly scroll to find Rust in your game list. When you see it, Right-click on Rust, select Manage, and then click Browse Local Files. This will open the folder where Rust is installed on your computer. Look carefully for the file name rustclient.exe, which is the main game file. Right-click on it and choose Properties, then go to the Compatibility tab at the top of the window. Now, find the option labeled Disable Full Screen Optimizations and check the box next to it. After that, Click Apply, then OK to save your settings, and close all the windows. By doing this, you've successfully disabled full screen optimization for Rust, which helps reduce input lag, eliminate micro stutters, and makes the game feel smoother and more responsive, especially if you're using a high refresh. Rate monitor or aiming for a stable FPS boost. If this helped you boost FPS in Rust, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for more performance guides. Stay optimized, and I'll see you in the next one.